Welcome to the show today. We are in Nashville, Tennessee. Marzen, tell them about it. All right, it's winning day because we got Brooke and Sydney Wells. Bring them in. They got something that they would like to say. Roll the footage. Oh. Got to Mars's house. There's the butter truck. I got my sweet party honey, my jean jacket. What are you wearing? <laughs> we didn't plan this. This happens on the rig. I don't know. <laughs> Synced up on a menstrual. All right, we just made it to Tennessee. So we're in You're Tennessee. You're the only ten I see. Yeah. Oh, that's well cute. Anyways, we're here to see Brooke Wells, the sleeve queen. sleeve queen. She got hurt last year at the CrossFit Games, and so she's been rehabbing her elbow to get back to uh, competition. So we've got to kind of check in, see how she's doing, but also just try and pick up some sleep tips. Yeah, trying to get, trying to get educated on how to get my ramp up, because I got a life goal of seven hours of sleep every day this year on average. Also, we're at this lovely little cafe. Look. There's a waffle above us. You can see that coming because we're pancake guys. But pancakes? We don't need to tell anybody about it. You know? Yeah, shh, don't tell me. They're pancakes with abs. This is the not so plain Jane, which I'm gonna be honest, looks very plain. Yeah, it's a five. That's like a fairground. Well, Ooh. we waked him a cake. Not our, training. Not, not our finest rating, but you know, on to better things. Let's go see Brooke. Hey, yeah, don't hop her with your stuff right now, Chew. Hey, 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 look at how little it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is what we call dog fishing, Brooke. I'm gonna borrow your pet dog and walk around the park and pick yeah. up the ladies. Oh, my friends do that. Yeah. <laughs> you have guy friends that take oh, yeah. I'm like, take him to a freaking 12 South or something and go get a girlfriend. Okay. Yeah, so I'll probably like take a few minutes, go watch, stretch a little bit. Get a glimpse of this warlock. Oh. <laughs> Right open. You got hardware in there? No, no hardware. Oh, they, so they just went in and reattached yeah, something? Yeah, they repaired everything. Whoa. Two is one and one is none, is what they say. Mm -hmm. How are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, good Waiters carry. Yep. Were you ever in the food industry? No, I mean, I was a hostess, but never a server. Where at? Buffalo Wild Wings? Oh my god. <laughs> really? Oh, I knew it. You look like oh a Buffalo Wild Wings girl. Like I know the food industry. I loved it too, because it was just like, during like football season and yeah. stuff. It was fun. This is like the Burt Reynolds pose. We're getting huge. Trying to match your movement, getting man. Getting huge. They're doing these shoulder tap things. Yeah. I'm scaling it, you wanna see? You know what I mean? We're trying to match, right? We're trying to match, Even it's twin day. Oh, I'm so excited for that. Oh, now we're matching and twinning just like our sister girls, the Wells. Let's get us. Oh yeah, yeah. First you thing in the morning. Rain, yeah. I feel like it's gonna help me PR my push press today. Ooh. Oh, we going for PR. So we're building up to a. Uh, for, hey, we're, back. we're just building, right? Building to a three. We're building for five sets. Yeah. Three by five building. So three sets of five building. Yeah. Building. Then you have three by three. Who do you? Who's a better push presser over here out of these Wells girls? You think? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say Sydney because she didn't have surgery yeah. six months ago. This is a safe bet. Who's gonna win out of us? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I don't know. You've been actually coming up in. A, Big yeah, ways, small huh? ways. Yeah, yeah, you know? but it's been a lot of Dave Lipson stuff. You know, this guy follows some sort of muscle anarchy programming. Trying I to like to do this. I show up with a good attitude. Sometimes you don't even do that. <laughs> The 2021 CrossFit Games event 12 was in max snatch. Um, I was up to the 190 pound bar, and right as I got under, I dislocated my elbow. Nice. Right as they like popped it back in, I'm like, okay, am I good? Like, can I finish? And they were like, um, we'll talk about that later, because they knew that it would make me upset. But um, yeah, I, mean, I, had, I had no choice. Like, they made me pull. Woo! 
that's a PR? Yeah, post-surgery. Well, post-surgery. Yeah. yeah. All right. The pronunciation of your word. I like to let, let, let the people know how Julian just destroys and doesn't ever really say words correctly. And I like that you pick up on that. Spat they didn't pick up on that. They just told it. They just outed me. They didn't pick up on that. Spatula for spatula. All right, I'm, I'm dyslexic. What are we doing next? What's happening here? All right, so it's two hang squat cleans, two front squats. We okay. start at like 60% and work up to like around 75%. Okay. Not too heavy. How does your elbow affect you in this situation? Front rack, it just like doesn't feel great. Just like lost some mobility, you know? But mm -hmm. not too bad. It's more overhead stuff that's a little bit worse. So the dog's name is Oliver, but have you found yourself calling him other names? Yeah, we have a lot. Ollie is the main one. Okay. But even like Ollie Bear, Ollie Kenny. So when it comes to my dog, his name's Riggs, but I call him Riggsy. Rigsy B, B, Beige, Little Meige, Littlest Him, Him. Yeah. There's oh. a lot. How often as sisters do you guys train? <laughs> well, we train together every day, but we have different stuff to do. So we don't probably have the same workout like once or twice a week. Ooh. Oh, you know what? I do this for heaps a lot. But I gotta say, you look good. What do you mean? What part? You look good. The whole thing. You look good. good. Pump my tires. Oh, Go that's it. I feel it. good about it. Figured it out. <laughs>Miss the front squats? You didn't know it was a squat me to start? Where are you right now? Come on. Come on down here with me, buddy. Come on down. Yeah, there it is. Do another one. There it is. So right afterwards, got an MRI while I was in Madison, and then I flew to Boston, met with a surgeon. Didn't particularly like think that was where I wanted to get my surgery, so I went to LA, went with another doctor. So I stayed there and went to PT every single day for like three hours for five weeks before I came back to Nashville. I didn't really work out for like a full month, just kind of like took the time to let my elbow heal and like my whole body heal. And then it started easing back in. It was a lot of biking and like one arm dumbbell stuff for a while, but now that I'm like six months out, I'm starting to ease back into um, barbell movements. We just, uh, just get out of workouts by saying you had to take a call. I did have to Is that take your a move? call. Sydney's a businesswoman. Okay? I am a businesswoman. Yeah. You were mm -hmm. like, you know, enhance, enhance. Sell, sell. <laughs> I can hardly believe it. Never thought we would start this rolling stone. Ah, uh, had a fight. 15. Ah, uh, God, I got to see the, the second coming here. It's the elevation. The elevation or the elevation? The elevation. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. She got me. Yeah, exactly. She got me. Looks like you got a midterm coming up. Give me math questions. Yeah. Two plus two, four. Oh, 48 divided by two. Uh, three, uh, 17. <laughs> it's high. Uh, 3.14. Repeating, of course. There we go. Oh, victory. You're a pissing engine. There we go. Another one. Another one. Ah. Oh, it's the uh, it's 25 again. Like the 25th. There we go. So you just did 75 strings. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I can't see straight. I'm at 24 <laughs> in two sets. The open is about 30 days away. My goal for the open is to just get through it in the top 10% to qualify me for quarterfinals. And then for quarterfinals, I also just want to get through it top 120. I'm very aware of the reality of this season. Like I haven't been able to do any kipping movements on the bars. Um, I haven't gone heavy on the barbell or anything, so just kind of like dropping the ego and trying to like get to the next step, get to semifinals, and then really peek at the games. What is he doing here, Brooke? He's just wasting. He's going to go right off the wall into the overhead, but he's taking a sweet time and he's still shaking. <laughs> I think there's some days that are honestly like it's so close and I have so far to go that it's like scary that I won't be ready but then other days I'm like 
hitting like post-surgery PRs and it's just like improving every single day and so I'm like I'll totally be ready when the time comes. Um, it's kind of different every single day. Let's do another. Another one. There we go. Come on, head through. That's it. Go again, baby. Go again. Oh, that's it. Sandbagging. Come on. That's it. Stay to it. Please follow me. Guys, I got 101, and they're trying to beat that together. Oh, Cruella de Vil here. So he's up one. to 54, he's done. He has one more set, he's at 36, so he has to get 11 to tie me, or 12 for the win. Yeah, when two becomes one, we might be able to equal one. <laughs> one. 10, oh, 11 for the tie. Oh, oh come on, five, okay. oh, how you feel about that? Oh, how you like them apples? Ah, Woo. 102 between Woo the two of us. She was 101 I'm a grown man. by herself. We're walking in this room, right? And Julie looks around and goes, man, it looks like, a, like an obituary in here. I think the word was mortuary. No, no, Is that I, the word you're trying to say? It was, it was. <laughs> I was like, wait, which one's the one they put the dead people in? To be <laughs> fair, they also put dead people in obituaries. They do. This is not I just mixed that it up. thing. What you got there? I have rice, sweet potatoes, and then some chicken from Paleo Power Mills. Okay, sounds exciting. What do you got, same thing? I have ground turkey, rice, and sweet potato. Okay, so as part of this episode, we wanted to get to know the Wells girls a little bit more, so we put them through a... A, a long list or short list of questions. Sibling challenge. Sibling challenge, yeah. Questions, yeah. All right, bro. Who's more likely to be late? I, I don't know, he's late all the time. More likely to be late. Whose room is cleaner? Time. Whose room is cleaner? Who gets better grades? I don't know. <laughs> Who got in trouble more as kids? <laughs> Who got oh. in more trouble as kids? <laughs> Who's the better driver? I'm the only driver. <laughs> he always rents the car. I'm the DD. Oh, I don't know. Uh, How old is it? I don't know. It's I was, 15, odd, I was you know? 15. I would I, say you. Yeah, I did the old thing. It was like, I got to tell you a secret. And then I kissed her. <laughs> did <laughs> it work? Work. That it worked. That wasn't consensual? Yeah, it was. I don't was she know. like, no, yeah. I don't want that question. Yeah, I don't know. Who was the first to kiss a boy? <laughs> <laughs> Who receives more spray tans? <laughs> I, I don't think I've had a spray tan. I've had a couple. Okay. Who spends more time on their phone? More likely to get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> Who's more likely to get in a fight? Uh, really? Neither one of us. I think we're both pretty. Who's the better tipper? <laughs> Who's the better tipper? Alright. Back into the gym, let's go. Session number two. Oh, I think we got more. <laughs> you got more what? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> What's up, people? We got the brand new Buttery Bros Roo Grips. Look at that collab. Look, it says Roo Grips That's and then a kangaroo part. Buttery Bros. I think he says the word da in there. Very thoughtful. And then a little guy. So while you're working out, you can look down and see this guy and just imagine me going, woo hoo hoo Okay, here's the workout. Me and Hebes are going to use the same weights as the twins because we're twins. The score is going to be whoever gets the most calories by the end. She wrote it as 95 and then put, or 65, 95. But They'll out squat us. So why would I use more weight than them on a Metcon? Scale appropriate. Scale, Scale for, for our life. life. Sid, are you ready? I'm ready. Brooke, you ready? I'm ready. Boys, are we ready? Okay, we're recapping the workout we just did. I hate interval workouts. If you start a workout and at like two rounds in, no one's talking anymore, you know it's a terrible workout. I could work for 90 seconds. As long as I get breaks, it's like football. You know, you're on the field and then you go break. A 90 second play is a really long play I did, yeah, that's true, but I'm just saying, it's got built in rest, but that's what Mars like. We Dude. used a mere 65 pounds, the same weight that the ladies use. Well, I scaled for life so that I can push myself where my weakness is, the bike. And it played out beautifully. So I was paying attention to the calories because I was concerned. I noticed after around one, me and Brooke were tied. Oh. But then coming back, I had like a two calorie lead and we built that up over three rounds to like seven calories ahead of them. 
slowly and surely, Sydney started catching you. Yeah. So every round, we would lose a calorie. Yeah, I felt like uh, those, those Wells girls were chasing me with a knife. Going into the round of 10, I put the gas pedal down Dang on it. the thrusters and on the hang planes and the tow to bar, and me and Brooke get to the bike at the same time as we usually had done. You gotta want it! But then I put the pedal down and blacked out, and I ended up two calories ahead. Heber got in my head and he's like, hey, send it, Mars. You gotta, you gotta want it. 274, 275. Woo! Let's go! Dude, and it was like 45 seconds of just marching through Mordor, you know? Yeah, to, to deliver the ring. You wanna get in, you get in. Get in. That's, that's it, that's it, that's it! Yeah. When it was all said and done, we beat them girls by a mere four calories using the yeah, same word. Yeah, what's so. up ladies, come at us! Sid, how was that? It was really hard, but I liked it. Yeah. I went on the bike and we were only a calorie ahead. So I had to like, sell it. full on send out. I mean, it was all bike. It was literally just like, how hard could you go on the bike and then recover? Mm -hmm. So. Were you um, surprised at Keeper's performance? He did really well, he hung. Yeah, yeah he did really well. Um, I wasn't surprised. I have faith in Heber. I think overall, I'm glad you guys did the same weight as us. So that's a one game win streak. <laughs> if you can call it that. Yeah. <laughs> Workout data provided by Whoop. Shout out to the Whoop folk. Uh, who we got? Okay, so first of all, that last workout was a doozy. Yes, it My was. max heart rate was 179. I spent 17 minutes at 80 to 90% of my max heart rate. Me too, but I was only 169 max heart rate with an average of 136. Shout out to the Butter Gang. We love the Butter Gang. We are one of the biggest groups on Whoop, so thank you guys for your support there. Plus. If you want to join the Butter Gang, use code PANCAKES. If you also want to get 15% off a membership of Whoop, Save use yourself. code PANCAKES. But for the number one most slept person last it? week, Ephraim Fields. Ephraim. He slept 100% last week every day, eight hours, 13 minutes of sleep. Dang. Shout out to you, Ephraim. Looks like he's 41, he's out of the US. He's a level days. 16, 59 data streak. Well done, Ephraim. Here's to you. That concludes the Whoop and the Butter Gang. We are. Where did you track? The zoo. Okay. What was the races? So 400 and 4x4. Four four. Anything under a 600, I think I'd win. Anything over, I think she'd win. Who's your favorite celebrity couple? I don't really pay attention to celebrities. Really? Ben Affleck, J. Lopez. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, I don't mind. Blake Lively, Ryan Reynolds. That's oh, one. that's a good one. Coming back to you. Still nothing. Um, I like Olivia Cuplo and Kristen McCaffrey. Kristen Bell and what's the guy at the podcast? Oh, I love him. Uh, Dax Shepard. Dax Shepard. Yeah, they're they're cute. My favorite couple? Heber Cannon and Jenna Cannon. Oh, love is love. oh hi, honey. <laughs> Okay, we got 50 strict pull-ups in as little sets as possible. We've done a lot of shoulders today, people. Rack it up, rack it up. I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it. 20. Who does 20 out the gate after a full day of training? I feel like it is fun to like PR post-surgery. Like you don't really PR very often these days when you've been doing it for seven years. Okay, I'm 13, so I'm halfway. Well, but then I also do find myself like comparing myself to what I was hitting last year, and it's just like so far off. We the new meth and red men. We in real blood, but we bread drinks. Run up a check in this pendant. She talking my news, what's in them? So Sydney did semifinals last year for the first time, and she just like had so much fun doing it. She didn't have any pressure on herself, and so it was really cool to see her just like do the best that she could. And then I think she got the itch to start competing and taking it more seriously. So it's been really fun to have her around. We really have like the same routine now. She has to work, but we're like in the gym together and we just kind of have the same lifestyles now. It's been really fun. Yeah, we the duo, you know we dynamic. When we outside, we be stopping the traffic. Bringing their necks, then they upset. How them boys doing more when they got less? How they on this and how they on that? How they got this in your Done. Too busy watching this thing, you just stop that talk. Done. Come on, get in there, Jim. Come on. We barely made it, people. 
Five sets. That's it. Huh. <laughs> oh, wow. Wait, we won. Oh, okay. What a day. Yeah. Um, you guys wouldn't happen to know of any good eats around here, would you? Um, one of mine. Yeah. Burton, huh? Radish. Radish? Yeah. Sounds okay, rad. Oh, rad. All right, let's go. Let's take a look at salad. Oh, Chicken yeah. mamacita. That's right, Spanish mamacita. What is mamacita Spanish for? Uh, I think it's an old wooden ship. So you were telling me, you texted me, you said you're watching the figure right now. Yeah. Is there macros that you're following? What's going on? I normally I count macros. This is kind of hard, but I guess you can guess. Chicken, steak, rice, yeah, avocado. Good. Dude. Okay, for context, I'm getting surgery on Friday on a deviated septum on my nose. You know, I've had it. I've had it most of my life, and I never actually had a doctor look at it. And he comes up and he's looking at it. He, he goes to put a probe in. He goes, "Oh yeah, that thing's deviated, all right." We don't usually recommend surgery. So what are the perks, doc? And he's like, "Well, you'll probably sleep better. You'll breathe better, and then uh, you know, the, you, your life will be better." Honestly, if I got a new nose, I'm just going to like Bath and Body Works, smelling all the lotions. <laughs> Okay, there's, that's the branding right there. We're into the beam segment. Uh, you brought your own batch. Yeah, I did. I brought the white peppermint. Thing. I'm gonna go with her batch, yeah, if yeah. that's okay. Yeah. When beaming with the Wells girls, you know, we just double dip from each other's bags. Do you guys dream? Do you guys have dreams? I honestly yeah. feel like I'm in such a deep sleep that I just like wake up and I forget everything. You are the sleep queen. I had a dream on the airplane. I think I was on a train. And I remember Marsden was with me and he fell off the train and like squirted on the ground. That was what I did? That's what you did. Oh, cheers. Cheers, cheers to sweet dreams. Okay. <laughs> How often do you drink beam? Oh, every single night. I don't go without it. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. You were one of the first people to tell me about beam. Yeah, because it's legit. It's literally a game changer. And sleep changer. Sleep changer. What are your sleep tips? What do you do? We start like just like chilling out around like seven-ish, you know? I think that's key. And then just going to sleep at the same time every night. So what time is bedtime? Lights out. Um, so I try to go upstairs like around 8.45 and then be asleep by 9. <laughs> when was the last yeah. time you went to bed at 8.45? Uh, when I was forced to when I was 8. <laughs> yeah. Oh, another cheers. <laughs> <laughs> it's been great training with you girls. Uh, that's the end of the show. Like and subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, up next we're going to Cookville to hang out with uh... Rich Froning and the Mayhem team. It's going to be a good time. All right, bye.